Welcome to Art Confidential. Today we're going to look at Fernando Bernini. I've been wanting to make a video about Bernini for a long time, so here we go. Born in 1598 in Naples, Gian Lorenzo Bernini became the most iconic sculptor of the 17th century, worked most of his life in Rome, the center of Europe at the time. Bernini pushed the art world into the intense emotional Baroque style of the most classical Renaissance style, which had dominated the art world for three centuries. Baroque artists like Bernini and the celebrated Italian painter Caravaggio captured life, movements, and emotion in their subjects, while Renaissance artists like Michelangelo and Raphael perfected techniques with perspective and symmetry. Baroque artists strived to capture feelings and innate drama. Bernini's sculptures were relatable, physical, fluid, and above all else, emotionally powerful. Sculptures by Bernini, his preferred art form, although he was a painter, architect, designer, playwright, and producer, he was a true multimedia artist and significantly ahead of his time. His father was from Florence. He was also an artist and allowed his son to work with him on his one most amazing masterpiece called Fontana della Baracaccia. In 1627, the fountain is of a sinking boat, which depicts a whimsical boat overflowing with water. It lies at the foot of Rome's Spanish steps. In Rome, the young protege artist talents captivated other artists and powerful people. At the age of eight, his talents was recognized by Pope Paul V and was able to study the impressive collection of ancient Greek and Roman art, as well as the many marble pieces in the Vatican. In the early days, Bernini was also admired by Cardinal Scipione Borghese, who was the Pope's nephew. Then, from 1618 to 1624, Bernini's primarily started to work for the Cardinal, and with his help, he was able to build his illustrious career in Rome. For the Cardinal, Bernini created sculptures such as Pluto, Persephone, 1622, Apollo and Daphne in 1625, and the life-size statue of David in 1624. In the second of me and Daphne, Florence incredibly dainty leafed fingers carve with the utmost care as she tries to escape the advances of Apollo. Bernini's magical stone slinging David from 1624 juxtaposes Michelangelo's pristinely poised statue of David, created in 1504 from the Renaissance era. Michelangelo's classic David found in Florence's Galleria dell'Accademia, stands stoically before battle, while Bernini's David depicts the man's utter strength and physicality in the midst of battle as he launches a stone that kills the deadly giant. Early pieces can be found in the Borghese Gallery, which was the Cardinal's breathtaking home, Villa Borghese. Other pieces by Bernini in Galleria Borghese include the immense bust of Cardinal Scipione Borghese in 1632, and Annecy's and Ascanius Plain Troy in 1619, which Bernini completed with his father. The gallery also houses many of Caravaggio's paintings. Bernini astutely regal sculptures of Pope Urban the Eighth from the 1630s is now part of the permanent collection of the Capitoline Museums. See the marble carvings of Medusa from 1640s, where Bernini skillfully depicts her desperation and lively snake-filled hair. Both pieces are in Rome in the Palazzo dei Conservatori. This is a close-up of one of Bernini's sculptures. In 1650, he designed Palazzo Barberini, also known as Galleria Nazionale d'Arte Antica in Rome. Outside the gallery is Bernini's Fontana de Tritone, 
from 1643 or the Triton Fountain in Piazza Ber Berini. Benini's most striking fountain under the Pope Innocent the Tenth is the Fontana di Quattrello Fiori in 1651, or the Fountain of the Four Rivers that stands in Rome's stunning Piazza Navona. The fountain depicts four distinct gods who represent the world's four major rivers, holding up an archway. Benini was requested to design Piazza San Pietro in the 1650s, and he added the impressive colonnade surrounded St. Peter's Square that still stands today. This large circle of pristinely aligned pillars acts as an open arms with the piazza and the body, the doomed basilicos, the head that welcomed people into St. Peter's Church. From 1657 to 1666, Bernini created the bronze-coated throne of St. Peter at Cathedra Pietri. In 1658, Bernini was commissioned to design the Church of St. Andrea al Cornaro, 1658 to 1670. Around this time, he also modernized the Church of St. Maria del Popolo, which still showcases the original Caravaggio paintings to fit in with the popular Baroque style of architecture. In the final years, Bernini died in 1680, at the age of 81, after a long and thriving artistic career. He created some of the most masterful arts and designs of the 17th century and propelled the art world into the most expressive Baroque style. With Bernini's death came the end of Italy's centuries long succession of artistic geniuses from the Renaissance and Baroque eras. Luckily, Bernini's artistic work and legacy has been forever preserved in the sprawling streets, squares, churches, buildings of Rome and the Vatican. This is the last picture of some of his amazing work. The carved statues at the top of this building are all created by Bernini. This is the fountain of the four rivers. His amazing sculptures are still being admired today. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Any comments are always appreciated. Which sculpture by Benini is your favorite?